Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Okay. <laughs> Get over to it, and then we can start the intro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go. Heidi ho everyone. My name is Cleo, <laughs> and guess what? I have a new strategy that all you new players can follow along. It's super easy. All you need to do is find a lava pit. So this is actually a broken strategy, and it involves getting diamonds easily. So if you don't already know, diamonds spawn underneath every single lava pit in all of Minecraft. I don't know why they coded it like this. So what you need is four buckets. So what you need to do with these buckets is grab lava. The next thing you need to do is you need to get a sponge. So if you don't already have a sponge, it's probably the easiest crafting recipe in the entire game to get. So what you need is like five different items, but then you can get a sponge. So what I need next is some wood. So I'll be right back when I get some wood. All right, guys, I got the logs. And now all we need to do is craft up a crafting table. So next thing you got to do is put the crafting table down. And then you want to put the sponge in the middle. So you're probably wondering, what do you need to do with these four lava buckets? Well, this is the most simple part in the game. You want to surround them with the sponge. And then you'll create the best item in the entire game of Minecraft. Boom. The lava sponge. If you don't know what the lava sponge does, hold on my is running out and need to eat a beetroot. All right, there we go. So if you don't know what a lava sponge is, all it does is this. Boom! Look at that! We found diamonds. I'm so glad I enchanted my pickaxe ahead of time. I'm so it's so worth it. So as you can see, I have 41 diamonds. This is so cool. So the next thing you need to do is look up. You see that? That's right. Diamonds actually spawn on top of every lava pool too, and it's at the build limit, so we're gonna need to be building up quite a bit. So I'm gonna need to make, take all these bedrocks here, and let's build up and grab these diamonds. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, as you can see, the diamonds are right above my head, so next thing all we need to do is build a little platform that we can use to build these, to not build these diamonds, but to mine these diamonds safely so they don't fall into that lava pit underneath. That's the hardest part about these diamonds up here. You gotta be really, really careful to make sure they don't fall into the lava pit because we don't want to lose diamonds. That's the worst thing in the game. Alright guys, so I got a little bit of a platform built, so let's start mining these diamonds. Hopefully we'll get some really good diamonds with this. Alright. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe this. We found diamond blocks in the diamond ore. This is so, this is actually so rare. This is, this is so lucky. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be rich on diamonds. I can't believe this. Alright guys, we got all the diamonds mined up on this side so easily. As you can see, we got so many diamonds. I cannot believe we got this lucky already. So, next thing we gotta do is get down safely. This is why I brought the water bucket. As you can see, I'm the best water bucket dropper in the entire world. Nobody can beat me at this. I'm just the best lava bucket dropper in the entire game. <laughs> Alright, as you guys can see, I'm the easiest, best water bucket player in the game. So, alright, next up is mining the, the diamond doors. It's like this in caves. So I'll be right back and I'll find a cave with a lava pool. And then you'll see how broken this strategy is and it's how I don't know why the pros don't even use it at all. Alright, as you guys can see, I found a lava pit right here. So we're going to use the lava strategy again. So we're going to put down more lava sponges. And already we found some more diamonds. This is so awesome. Alright, so we need to put down another one. Uh-oh, looks like I'm, I'm burning up just a little bit. So we'll need to use the beetroots to save my life here. Alright, beetroots, come on. I know you're the best food in the entire game, so I know you're going to heal me up right away. Alright, we need that torch, actually. So I'm going to hold on to that torch. With the power of the torch, we will survive this. As you can see, beetroots are the best food in the entire game. I can't believe people don't use beetroots as often as I do. And boom. Look at all these diamonds. I cannot believe we found this many diamonds. So let's mine these up. At the end of this video, I'll show you an even bigger strategy with these lava pits that you probably don't even know of, even if you're a professional in Minecraft. You probably don't even know this strategy, which is why I don't see many people using it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the nether. The nether has, as you know, a lot of lava. So we're going to use that lava strategy to our own advantage and grab many, many more diamonds that I don't think you even know spawn in the nether. So I'll be right back when we get into the nether. All right, guys, so we're in the nether, as you can see. Now, there's a lot of lava, as you can see. So this lava looks pretty deep, so I'm not going to go over there. So as you can see... There's lava right here. So I'm gonna put some lava sponges down and boom! We already found some lava. Oh, oh no. Alright, so we're gonna need to we're gonna need to use this water bucket right here. Alright guys, luckily I survived that. I can't believe none of my stuff got burned up, so let's let's continue extinguishing this lava over here. So we have most of the lava over there cleared up. That should be all we need. I don't think I'll worry about those diamonds because they look like they're pretty deep in the lava, so I'm not gonna worry about them. So let's mine these diamonds up right here. As you can see, there's so many diamond blocks. The best part is about mining in the nether is that it's all diamond blocks. There's no diamond ore, so you can just get straight diamond blocks in the nether. This is the best part. So this is the most overpowered strategy in the entire game of Minecraft. I actually tried speedrunning the Minecraft with this strategy, and I beat the game in two seconds. Can you believe that? I had a two second world record. I didn't even think that was possible until the other day when I tried it. So as you can see, you can get so many diamonds so easily. Diamond armor is probably the best armor in the game, unless you're me and you have this armor. As you can see, it's the best armor in the entire game. I'm taking like no damage from the lava. All right, anyway. That's it for the nether, so let's move on to the end. Now you may be thinking to yourself, there's probably no lava in the end, right? Well, you'd be wrong, and I'll show you why. So let's go to the end real quick. All right, guys, we actually got really, really lucky with our with our end spawn, and as you can see, we have a little, little lava pool right here. So unfortunately, like the overworld, there's no, there's no diamonds that spawn above, but however, watch this. This is insane. That's right. 
Everything underneath the, the lava pool in the end is all diamond blocks. This is insane. I can't believe people don't use this strategy. This is easy diamond blocks. For some reason, when endstone is exposed to lava, it immediately turns into diamond blocks. I don't know why it does that. I can't prove it now because I don't have lava with me, and I don't really want to go back to the overworld and back to the end to find this because the end was hard enough to find already, but you have to just take my word for it. But as you can see, there's so many diamond blocks. I can't believe people don't use this in survival. But as you can see, this is the best strategy in the entire game. I hope you've learned a thing or two about mining for, for diamonds and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll leave these diamonds for any of my subscribers who want to take them. Anyway, guys, that's the video for me. I hope you enjoyed the video because I know I did. I was a whole fun time making it. Anyway, as you know... <laughs>